sight a riot Make some noise, break up the silence Scream and shout, no being quiet Spread the facts until you buy it Come to my den, I got toys for torture We drink the blood fresh just to stay immortal We bring a thug fest calling all New Yorkers And keep a bayonet for the future slaughters Take your bets, fuck the players, make them offers Heads or tails, fuck your life is on a quarter All the king's men tally up their horses Forging ahead with a secret missile launching Off to Georgia and start the cross of borders In my bedroom, I'm making all the orders If you come, you won't make it till morning Get the picture, maybe kind of, sort of Scheme check, extra filter, check Scissors, check, duct tape, check H2O, check Sexiest, most explicit, lyrical, handsome, sexiest uh, man in talk radio. That's right, you heard it from a female's mouth herself. You are listening to the most debonair, the sexiest man in talk radio. You're listening to your master of ceremonies, Bruce Montalvo, on the Bruce Montalvo Show. Thank you for that kind introduction. That's that's fitting. It's it's very nice. Was it kind? How kind was the kind? That's what I want to know. I don't know because nowadays in places like Princeton, they want to ban the word mankind. So you don't, you don't know with these PC libtard sociopathic Fabian socialists what's going to happen next. Anyway, folks, you're listening to the Bruce Montalvo show. It is August nineteenth, two thousand. And sixteen, and let me tell you guys, I uh, I was hungry at the beginning of the show. I, we, actually, we we got chicken wings in the oven, but I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking, I wanted some like greasy Chinese food, but then I was like, Nah, don't do that. You know, it's got soy, and that thing's gonna kill you. So I yeah, didn't want that. We really didn't want to do that. It was really bad soy. Um, besides- I wanted a poo poo platter, <laughs> yeah. and not a not a pupusa, a poo poo platter. No, it's it's not what you think, folks. It's actually quite good. It's quite delicious. T- tell them about it. Ew, it's gross. It's fried and greasy, dripping with snot and like. It's sugar not what you want MSG. for your for your sexy body or for mine, which you introduced me so eloquently. Oh, that's right. We've been eating. Pretty you don't healthy. want a poo poo platter. No, we don't really want to do that. Bruce. We want to keep going out and swimming and and barbecuing. I mean, we have a beautiful backyard, folks. We have. Uh, w- which it's crazy. It's very rare. We have a tree that is an orange tree, but it's not really an orange tree. It's a monarch butterfly tree. Yeah, there's like four oranges growing in it, and like always a butterfly popping. No, in. we got two cocoons here, and those are two of our live listeners. They're sitting out there. They're in cocoons, but they're a perfect metaphor for the American people because they are in a cocoon. <laughs> they're yeah. in a cocoon. They are disassociated from politics or anything, and I don't blame them. I've become apolitical myself. I mean, with this three-ring circus that we've been experiencing, I mean, it's just it's just beyond me. Yeah, Bruce, I don't know. It's almost better to be in a cocoon, I think, because you, you really should just worry about yourself. It's so hard to stay healthy and, and fight the elements from the air to the food to you know the the fluoride in the water to the nuclear in the water nuclear reactors in the water i mean sorry but kim greenhouse was right when she told me you know be careful with tucson i i don't trust the water here either um i want to get we try to stay cool in tucson but big up to our uh homies over at berkey if they're listening we uh we, we need a filter yeah you need a filter now. Yeah, we were told by the uh, now by a water expert, Kim Greenhouse, who has had many shows. Right, a good on, friend of ours, good uh, broadcaster. It's rainmaking time. That was she really covers a lot of water, and she she told us that Tucson has a lot of 
Uh, they keep their mouths shut here because if they don't keep their mouths shut, there's been a lot of people. There's a lot of targeted individuals here. But speaking of water and water wars, uh, Gaddafi wasn't he whacked by by uh, Clinton? Yeah, Hillary it Clinton? seems it seems so pointed and ironic at the fact that they're blaming Hillary for some Gaddafi death, right? And she even laughs it off, right? When her friend, Donald Trump, running mate, who has been at, like, weddings together and many, many parties, you know, when this guy boasted boldly that he rented property to Gaddafi. So how does this make sense? I mean, these guys, well, one day they're friends, next day they're, they're getting... And then Trump's, like, screaming about Hillary getting presents from Saudi Arabia. That's not all he's screaming about. No, he's getting money. No, she's getting money. He's getting money. Look, that's not all. You got, you got the whole thing with, with Trump basically calling out Hillary on, on uh, many things. I mean, they, they, have, uh, they have him naked, pretty much. Trump, he's been undressed on the Washington Post. You see this this article here. Protesters wanted to humiliate Emperor Trump, so they took off his clothes. And that's exactly what you just did. You took off Trump's clothes because he provided shelter for Gaddafi. So now Trump is running around naked, contradicting himself, making apologies because... He, he's a hypocrite. He wants a coalition against radical Islam when he himself... Brought in Gaddafi. Brought in Gaddafi. Yeah, and supposedly a friend of mine told me that Gaddafi was still alive and living in Englewood Cliffs, New Jersey. And she That's not Englewood, California, right? Englewood Cliffs, New, well, sorry? New Jersey. Okay, New Jersey. 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 Not California, okay? No, Englewood. Play homes. Englewood, always up to no good. Uh, all right, yeah, but... He's yeah. harboring. He's harboring fucking terrorists himself. Something like that, and then they never said they supposedly. If you really look into it, Gaddafi really never died. I mean, the whole thing was just like that's our theory, because this is a show where we provide conspiracy theories and jewelry at good prices, modest yeah, prices. Yeah, Bruce and I have been making jewelers. some really gorgeous. Gorgeous. We're like the QVC of conspiracy theory. Oh, no, we're not. I am QVC. I mean, yeah, once in a while they have some nice things, some really nice no, things. No, we have nice things. We have all the time gorgeous things. So, yeah, you should go to our Etsy store. It's, um, we just hooked up. I hooked up the graphics uh, just this week. You can check it out at Etsy.com slash shop Antique Obsessions or Etsy.com slash shop Conceptual Subculture. Or if you go to Etsy.com, just type in Conceptual Subculture, one word, or Antique Obsessions, one word, and you'll come to either of our stores. Um, a lot of copper, sterling cuffs that are coming in. You will you can see on our banners and conceptual subculture, they're just really, really hot. So You know, I come from a long line of jewelers in I my know, family. You do. Hey, that's the thing. Besides my uh, recent, uh, you know, my freaking DNA that's attached to me, this recent DNA strand, my... My maza and faza, even my even my father fabricated as well. But but you know I don't know what happened to them. They went off and joined a Mexican death cult. Yeah. Okay? They Your tried they tried to get El Gran Montalvo SWAT team. Yeah. So I'm still like recuperating from that. That's why I was like out there grilling, you know, looking at the the monarch tree. Yeah, wishing that you were grilling your dad's face. Dear God, what am I, uh, Leatherface now? I don't know, you fed him bison, that's about like, that's like human or something, I don't know, what the hell is that? That smells so disgusting. Okay, speaking of people who are not human, uh, we were talking about Trump and how he's basically a hypocrite. First of all, now he, he says he doesn't trust the CIA. Oh, he shouldn't, because they're the ones that are radicalizing and creating ISIS in the first place. I mean, grab a textbook, look at history, and you'll see that Brzezinski and Carter and all these fiends, all these scum, created ISIS beforehand, and they're the CIA's freaking proxy villain. I know. And now we have, no joke, we have like an Armageddon-like situation, again, in uh, Russia. Russia has 40,000 troops on the borders of Ukraine right now. So Putin is not playing. I mean, Putin doesn't like 
the U.S.'s boys manufactured right out of the Pentagon ISIS either. He doesn't like them. Putin is... Putin reminds me of Rocky freaking four with the Russian. He's like looking at, at Ukraine, which had that illegal junta with the CIA and they shot that James plane Bond. down. Right, right, he, he, James Bond kind of looks like him. Right, right. Anyway, like I was saying, more pressing matters. We know there was an illegal junta in Ukraine and the CIA is in there. And so Putin's basically going toe to toe with the U.S. and the U.S.'s freaking fiends. ISIS. He's going toe-to-toe with them. He is like freaking Ivan Drago. He's looking at, at uh, the United States. He's looking at Obama like, I must break you. <laughs> I mean, what's going to happen there? I mean, there, is it all Dr. Strange love? Yes. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I'm looking at this article now, and it's, if you remember correctly, it was back in 2009, and it says, Muammar Gaddafi's tent finds home on Donald Trump's estate from The Guardian. You know, Do- Mo- Gaddafi, Mo- Muammar Gaddafi pitched his tent on an estate. Pitched belonging- his tent? Yeah, <laughs> belonging to Donald Trump in suburban New York yesterday. Oh, my God. The Libyan leader is scheduled to attend the UN General, General, General Assembly this That's week. That's what they did to him when they supposedly killed him. They pitched the tent right in his bungholio. Yes, yes. They like yes. freaking Rochambeau him with like a broom or something. It, Doors it all over New York have been slammed bloody. in the in the colonel's face, but Trump says he has rented part of a large property in Westchester County to Middle Eastern ten, tenants who may be associated with Gaddafi. Gaddafi last month wanted to erect a tent in New Jersey where the Libyan embassy owns right. property. But the U.S. government said he could not. A request to set up a tent in Central Park was also turned down. Gaddafi arrived in New York uh, in 2009. It also, like, he will face protests over Scotland's recent... Okay, 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 good, good, good. Mumbo yeah. jumbo. But let me tell you something. Going back to Trump's uh, radical freaking Islam committee. On surface, I mean, with, without all the neocons that are involved in it, it sounds like a good thing. I mean, despite the fact that Trump approves of the Patriot Act, it sounds like a good thing, because there are a lot of burkas that hate Americans. I mean, we've seen it in Brooklyn. You walk by and they look at you with, like, these eyes of hate. Okay? I mean, why why do we have to appease these PC, go eyeball eating scum? Really sick of it. I mean, you got a priest. Oh, no, I got, a, I got an article here. It says, uh, a priest from Ireland. He, uh, he was pretty much taken to court for for saying that Islam was satanic. Now, they, they, they threw him in jail. But he got acquitted later. But that's the thing. That's what you have going on. A bunch of, like, bowing down to PC libtards. A lot of, uh, like, uh, freaking just you know, watch your tone. Uh, gender, gender neutral terms. I mean, it, it's, it's insanity. Yeah. It's just insane how... Trump is totally whitewashing, and everybody in fucking America is so has no memory at all that he said that he rented property, okay, to Gaddafi, you know. And here's a quote: "It says I dealt with Gaddafi. I rented him a piece of land. He paid me more for one night than the land was worth for two years, and then I didn't let him use the land, which is a fucking lie because I heard that he's still alive and living there in Jersey, but." Besides the point, you know, they're all friends, and, you know, there was that house was still lit up. Right? It's a big club, and you're not in it. Yeah, and they're just saying one thing. They're thinking that you don't remember, and then one, how is he dissing, uh, saying anything about Hillary getting Saudi Arabian money on presents and necklaces and stuff like that, if he's sitting there renting, making a ton of money from that How about this? Faction, how so about this? How about the fact, sure. how about the fact that on Atlantic City... He had that Trump Taj Mahal, right? That thing failed. And Christy, fat Krispy Kreme donut eating Krispy, Chris Krispy, <laughs> the governor of New Jersey, that fat fuck, he let Trump off the hook. He let him pay only five out of 50 million. Right. See, they got those, they got those backdoor deals all the time. So, I mean, most of the time... Royalty and, and princes and kings don't die. <laughs> but did Hitler die? 
No. Oh, no, no, no. J. Edgar Hoover knew that he was up in the Andes Mountains Eventually, he in, in died. Argentina. He died in like 1986, but he didn't die when they told you in history books that he died. No, no, not at all. The Masons got hold of the history books for sure. Uh, speaking of people that are getting a hold of, of books and records, I mean, Hillary's whacking anybody that, that has anything to do with that DNC serving thing. Yeah. How they serve that guy, Sean Lucas, he was whacked. And then a UN freaking person was whacked, a politician. This John Ash guy was whacked. Then you got uh, this aide to Tim Kaine, the Joe Montana, Joe Montano, Joe Montana. I'm not making fun of it, folks. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's where I'm getting at. It's. I'd love to see the movie where Hillary is actually like offing him with a gun. No, but and then you had the guy in Washington D.C. That Seth Rich. He was, he was shot and killed. You know, nobody took anything from him. They didn't take his expensive watch. Nothing. But here, how about this one? This one sends a message to everybody in alternative media. This guy, uh, Vic Thorne, who interviewed great people like Tex Mars. I mean, prestigious people like like uh, Vic Thorne, right? Prestigious people like <laughs> Tex Mars. Are you kidding? Do you want me to smack you? I am making a funny folks. Ralph. Tex Mars is one of the most just uh, revolting individuals Mangelson? you can speak to. I mean, this guy is Ralph like Mangelson? this guy is like one of the boys from Brazil. Like he's one of oh uh, Mangla's like nuts. Like the literally, Jew he's hater. disgusting. The biggest you hated for Anyway, me. anyway, they killed the guy that was best known for interviewing that scum. That freaking sick scum. And, I mean, all these deaths, like, in, like, weeks, you know, in between each other. Yeah. I mean, Hillary has got blood on her hands. Oh, she does. Yes. She's stripping. Yes, she snapped these people's necks, yes. personally. What are you, Rachel fucking Maddow? What are you gonna go and and, and go to to fucking Mardi Gras with this bitch? I mean, <laughs> don't you see? Don't you see what's going on? People that, are dying. Yeah. People are dying. That's it's not, connected to Clinton and the DNC. This guy went over there and served them, and then he winds up dead in a bathroom. And she's telling people in in the bathroom doors, just like you, you know. I mean, come on, man. Yes, okay, these people, maybe they died, maybe they didn't die. I mean, this thing on CERN, uh, these people faking this, this mock sacrifice in front of the... Yeah, they didn't kill that girl. Right, and that's not even real. So, oh, But what but was you know? scarier was that they said it was the researchers. So you have the researchers over at CERN actually you know, being engaged, being involved in this type of like Shakespearean Satanism. Yeah. But, I mean, it's just, I mean, that's not real in terms of they saying that people got killed. But who's to say that all these people around Hillary are, done, are really dead? Look, Hillary is so loopy. Hillary is so out of it. Hillary is so stoned that she has dumb and dumber Joe Biden basically copying fields on her. Twenty four seven. I saw him trying to, like, unplug her bra and, like, grab her fat thigh and her left wing. I mean, I saw it. Wow. Joe Biden was like trying to get jiggy with it. He knows well, she's like he he's like the drunk chick at prom, and he's he's just going he's going over. It. Well, he looks like he's that type of dude. I, didn't, <laughs> I never saw those pictures. Uh, it's it's pretty funny. <laughs> it's pretty funny. How about those Olympics? Let's talk about some more meaningless nonsense, you know, because people care more about the flashy vagina that was the Olympics instead of the people who were starving in the favelas. Right next door to the yeah. Olympics, you got disgusting and deteriorating conditions. And but no, no, they're over there watching Hussein Bolt get a triple triple. What I think, Bruce, and is, and run at ninety miles per hour while taking selfies. Right, and what I think they they started this whole hoopla about the robbery, and I think it is a whitewash. And a cover up for the amount of robberies that did occur. Right, and you know what's funny? The they, didn't even, there. they said, they said on an article, they said that this story isn't fake. And then it ended up supposedly being fake. So that's what they're doing in the media. It's what I've been saying all along. They keep hoaxing news. You don't know what's true anymore. And the right. CIA, the Operation Mockingbird is so in it. That they they distort all these things, but what was worse well, was that they they held Americans, the uh, Olympic swimming team, they held them there 
against their will as like political prisoners, these this fascists at Brazil. They held them there. They detained them and their passports. When? Oh, when? When? What am I, the almighty fucking Google? I'm saying it. It's on the news. They this detained just happened these like guys. the past two days or something? They detained Americans. And then America had to go ahead and apologize for it. That's the thing that gets me. It's They're, they're making America apologize. They're humiliating our Olympic swimming team. I mean, this is what the global community is doing to America. They're trying to destroy American exceptionalism. And you see it. You saw it. Look, I saw it at the Olympics. The fact is, is that for them to set up shop in fucking Brazil, where it was disgusting and it's still disgusting, because I used to live there. It's like a million post-op, it's, pre-op trannies walking around there with like a billion that's, diseases. Those are the people that are the your least of your problems, okay, Bruce? There's the, a bunch of like crap no, those floating are the, in the rivers. Those, that's the least of your problems. There are millions of scumbags that are just flocked to the city, flock there, the poverty in the nation flock there, the, every thief in the country is hiding out in all the crevices just to make bank with all the, the tourists there. And I guarantee you that it is completely whitewashed. There is no news on the fact of how many people got robbed. I know, I know so many people that have been to Brazil um, and get robbed all the time. There's no way that people did not get really robbed. That story, I, it sounds like it was a hoax. But at the same time, the Brazilian, uh, they said that they blamed the cops, right? And they're fucking fascists. So there is still that possibility that the cops... No, really but what that. you're missing out... Jaja is that they broke the door down. Yeah, the oh, Olympic yeah, they, swimming team oh, right. broke the door That's down the and vandalized their stinky Brazilian property. Okay, so I have a song called Break the Door Down, and you should look it up because I'm singing in Portuguese, Spanish, and English. And I spit in a lot. Muy, muy caliente. Yeah, muy caliente. It's very cool. It's like a very good dance song, and I guarantee you will love it. So you should support... Me, Ja Ja, your host, at, um, you can get it iTunes, you know what I'm saying? That's the type of multiculturalism I approve of. Not like the Chinese over in Little Italy where they sell the pigeons on the side of the sewer with the clams and then the lizards on the sticks and, you know, you know, what the hell, you know? That's why it's, you need a coalition on some type of, like, you know, immigration on who really could benefit coming to America, because, I mean, we went to the, the laundromat the other day, and I saw a woman there that looked like she just came from Somalia or Sierra Leone, and she had her kid, like, wrapped around her in, like, a burqa slash blanket, and the kid, like, had a burqa slash blanket by being in the burqa slash blanket, and I'm, I'm like, whoa, you know, she's talking, like, like, Swahili, like, freaking Walla Walla Bing Bang, freaking, <laughs> I, I don't understand what she's saying. Yeah. You know, how is that going to benefit America? How, how do women in freaking Somalian burqas with babies hanging from them, I have no idea. EBT babies, benefit America? When I think of all the intelligent people from Europe, for example, that are, would love to become citizens, it's not in their love, but yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people from Romania or Ukraine that are dying to become Americans. That would no, I'll tell you who's dying. I'll tell you who's dying. People in Louisiana are floating right, freaking oh, ass right. up right now dying. And Obama doesn't give a crap. He is playing golf with some schmuck, Larry David, instead of being in Louisiana. Listen, what do they do? What do they hide in Louisiana? What first, the hell is going yeah, on over there? Yeah, but you know what? They're an idiot for, for, you know, going back there. I mean, Trump went over there before Obama did. I mean, that that is really making Obama, the fucking golfer, oh, Obama, look bad. Whatever. Obama wants to be out of the office, too. But at the same time, Bruce, no, no, anybody but he, but he that wants to live people. there, anybody that wants to live in that fucking dam, okay, or near that dam, or anywhere near Katrina, and just because they told you they rebuilt, you gotta have a fucking. You need your head screwed on right. So it's your fault, you know. And okay, they want to put all kinds of money back to rebuilding it. Why? Why are they gonna keep rebuilding some place that's gonna constantly get flooded? So my uh, whether whether it's harp or not, uh, it's still <clears throat> easily 
access. You know, you say Obama just wants to get out of there, but something tells me I'm the, the great Raimundi right now, folks. I have my crystal ball out again. Something tells me that when Hillary Clinton makes Trump tap out, she's going to appoint Obama to the Supreme Court. She's going to appoint Obama to the Supreme Court, and we're never going to get rid of Obama. You're never going to get rid of Barry Marshall Davis Jr. Never. Okay? Barry Marshall Davis Jr. has bypassed Congress several times. Okay? This narcissist, egomaniac, scum. Uh, They're... On paper, they're instigating Russia. They're poking the bear. Okay, they keep pissing Putin off. And Putin's got like a Napoleon complex. Okay, even though he's like throwing big freaking punches, big steroid punches like Ivan Drago. I mean, he's got a Napoleon complex. He's he's crushing the proxies at ISIS. And and why? Why poke the bear? Why Why mess with the Russians? I mean, the Russians are some of the toughest freaking people there is. I mean, you're part Russian. I mean, you're like... Hey! Hey! That's what they've been doing to freaking ISIS, just bombing them, you know, left and right. And, of course, Obama doesn't care. They created Cobra. So now they have Russia, their enemy, fight the guy that they created so that they don't have to fight them. It's like having their cake and eating it too. I mean, it's very complicated. It's like, it's seriously like Dr. Strange look. Listen, I think Krasinski is the father of Putin or very close to That's why he's in Syria because his cousin is Bashar al-Elf. Yeah. And that's why they're related. They're homeboys. It's one big happy family and that's it. A Nazi party that we did not we're not. We did not see happening, and we're not invited. And you were to. not <laughs> invited to. See, guys. Ugh. <laughs> well, Bruce. The bund. Yeah. I just like I was saying before that at a certain point you just have to like laugh and just whatever. You can throw peanuts at them and eat a couple too while Paper watching cuts. it. But at at the end of the day, it's like it's so hard to really deal with all of their bullshit because the minute you look at one thing, you open up a can of worms and it's their whole lives. So, I mean, what do you expect? The at the end of the day, you gotta Hillary, watch yourself. I at mean, the end of the day, Hillary Clinton is set to become the all-seeing first female dictator of the USSA. Mm. Oh, I doubt that. I think that, oh yeah, f- female What do you mean you doubt we've that? We've always had the, then we've always the had The first dictator. female dictator. Well, I thought that... What do you mean you doubt that? Well, I thought that Barack Obama 60, was, you know, kind of into his trannies. I mean, I thought that Michelle was... Oh, you're saying that Barack Obama's a pussy and that he was our first female yeah. president. Okay, good, because our first tranny president was uh, freaking uh, Ma- Michelle or Michael or whatever. <laughs> a- you should go to Exposed News and watch that video, Transgender Michelle Obama Exposed. It's got like... Over 290,870 really? oh freaking views. I mean, it's it's great. Be sure to subscribe at Exposed News. Subscribe to many of the branches of the Bruce Montalvo show. Bruce Montalvo TV on YouTube. Montalvo TV on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to the Bruce Montalvo show on YouTube. Uh, you got a couple of YouTubes, too. Subscribe to Jaja on YouTube as well. That's right. While you're checking out those videos, you can see um, that... That opening song, Turning Your Weapons, you can look it up, Turning Your Weapons, Jaja, you'll see my channels right from that video, you know what I'm saying? And just give it a like and share it, and if you want to support, you can. there's a link to the iTunes right there. And we're dancing in the video. And break the door down. Right. Yeah. You think that in our past lives, we've like intertwined and danced before? I think in our past. Over and over and over. Yes, I do believe that we've had many past lives together, Bruce. We, right. we immediately were comfortable. The very first time we were on air, I mean, we were like, the show went by so quickly, like 30 minutes. Or so it felt like, but it was two hours or something. And you, we just had a flow. And you know. That's why we are the best dynamic duo in alternative media. The best freaking female. And you're wearing your, your superhero shirt. What's on that shirt tonight? You have a... 
Batman. Uh, yeah, but not not know. the not the Will Smith one. Let me say something about Will Smith because <laughs> you mentioned a Batman. Will Smith isn't he like a, a flaming fruit cup? They did that. Tranny Arquette say that he like bangs like his producers I don't and know. stuff. I know he's got two kids. Okay, so but... what? And he and speaking of those two kids, doesn't he like tongue his kids? I mean, you see how he grabs what his kids? Worse he... than a child molesting imam from yeah. Iran that just grabs kids and gives them the beard. I yeah. mean, I mean, you got Will Smith scum like Will Smith going around in Dubai and trying to trash talk Trump. I mean, leave the trash talking of Trump to me. A person that can really dissect the bipartisan big government establishment. I've been doing it for 10 years now. Really, mm-hmm. for about 10 years. Okay. And I can tell you that Trump is a hack. And forget about the Beastie Boys sabotage. It is no sabotage for Trump. There is no sabotage. The guy is already making excuses for his loss. He's saying that he's facing the media and not Hillary Clinton. He's saying that his opponent's not even Clinton. It's never been Clinton. Mm. You know what he's going to do? Trump is just waiting for this whole thing to be over so he can get some sleep, first and foremost, and then to start his own freaking network, the Trump network. Imagine all the freaking ass wipes that are going to be on there. First of all, you're going to have Putin. He's going to have his own show. He's going to have his own show on the Trump network. <laughs> and then uh, the, their, their lover... Their menage to all over. Jones is probably going to have a... Alex Jones is going to have a, his own show on the Trump Network. So, so those three so lover boys are going to be together right there on the Trump Network. You know, Alex Jones, Donald Trump, and Putin all freaking butt-fucking each other like a big butt-fucking Brady Bunch on the Trump Network once he fails and loses by design to Hillary Clinton because he is part of the goddamn establishment. I mean, look at the Illuminati card. You got so many cards that you can throw it on the deck right now. Okay, you got a, literally a plague of demons running Washington, D.C. And another card is the Trump card, the Enough is Enough card. He's on there. He is on that card. Did you hear about the Indian man, the half Indian man who was escorted out of Donald Trump rally? Oh, my friend, my buddy, buddy. I didn't hear about that, you my friend. Hear? They kicked my ass out of that. They, my they decided his name was Jake and after. And he was, uh, they took him away, they, and he was saying, I told him I would never been to another rally in my life. They, they profiled him, my friend. It was Indian rights. They profiled him. They said he looked like somebody who was a provocateur in other rallies. And now he says he's going to vote for Gary Johnson, Rick McMahon's. Brother, yeah, Gary twin. Johnson, uh, Vince McMahon's freaking twin who has no chance in hell, who uh, throws away gifted guns, who is basically part of the synarchist movement that infiltrated the Libertarian Party. I mean, Bill Weld, anti gun, gun control votes. I mean, Gary Johnson showing his true colors on CNN. That's why he was getting so much CNN press, yeah, because he's part of the establishment now, okay? He's freaking. Part of uh, Vince McMahon's bloodline. And you want to know something else? Trump, I'm going to drop a tombstone pile driver on you, Trump. You are funded by Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon, that was out on the Washington Post. I think one of your cousins funds Trump as well. Uh, Ebert, or I don't know, Cisco and Ebert. I don't know what his name is. But we're talking about Trump here. Trump paid, got paid by Vince McMahon at least $5 million in charity. Trump used that for his charity. So it's not Trump's own money that he's spending on his charities. When he's not getting sued by the pageant queens that he pretty much just, you know, prostitutes out for favors, that's what Trump's doing. He's getting his sandwiches paid by Vince McMahon. Hmm. This guy's as sleazy as can be. I don't understand how people who are part of the the expose the, the left, expose the right, who apparently did movies exposing the police state, could now endorse a total police state candidate in Trump. I mean, you, you literally have Obama doing everything in his power to hand off the sovereignty of the United States to the UN, basically to have it eviscerated. Guys like frontmen... New World Order frontmen like George Soros are 
involved in that. I mean, all the leaked documents that were recently hacked show that Soros is the one funding the Black Lives Matter, funding the Syrian refugees that are now gang-banging and gang-raping people. So, literally, what's going to happen, folks, is before Obama gets out of office, he's going to hand over the Internet. I have this article in front of me right now. America to hand off Internet in under two months, the Department of Commerce is set to hand off the final vestiges of American control over the Internet to international authorities. Wow. So you're about to be targeted, barcoded, and labeled when you're on the Internet. That's what they say. If you believe that. If I believe that. Yeah. Everything really, it's on, it's on the Washington Examiner. Oh. How do I not know that some mockingbird media got to that, that article, right? But but no, I mean, if you've been if you've been paying attention to what's going on, that is with the whole net neutrality thing. The, the government, uh, Obama, has been working on this internet takeover for quite some time now, and I see that developing right before Obama. You leaves if he ever leaves us, folks, because I was saying earlier that I think when Hillary is elected, I looked at my great crystal ball, he might be uh, occupying the seat that Antonin Scalia had. What happened with that? He was killed by the Bohemian Grove. Yeah. People, people forget how occult this thing really Gets. Yeah, you don't mess with these people. Who goes? Why would you want a job by in in media in government? I mean, just stay the fuck away. I'm not even. I'm just a side. We're like Obi Wan Kenobi's. We're like hermits trying to use the force, kind of like just to, you know, but not like trying to be all all up against the Sith because they're running the Galactic Empire. Yes. I mean, they are. I mean, I mean, right now, I mean, you could. You could say that, and you were talking about how they go into other countries and stuff, and and they basically rape and pillage. I mean, Brazil, what they're taking there, they got unlocked. They got a lot of gold, and they have a lot of emeralds. And from what I understand, um, over in Haiti right now is Hillary Clinton's brother owns a gold mine in Haiti. How the fuck is that possible? After the Clintons finished raping Haiti with the Clinton Foundation, the Bush Foundation... After that huge harp induced quake. Yeah. Uh, I don't yeah. know if it, yeah, it was harp. And it, but it, I now think they're it, in there sucking them dry was, like the harp. vampires I they are. I think it was harp. I, think it, I heard there was uh, Navy ships off of the shore and there was a torpedo inter- intercontinental ballistic mi- missile where they uh, bury the missiles. Well, if the, Clintons are, if the Clintons are involved and intercontinental ballistic missiles are involved, then and there you go. That's a, that's their mo. I well, mean, they've been selling those to the Chinese. Oh, okay, yeah. So the ports were originally the first thing that was busted in Haiti, if you remember, where the ports were completely demolished, and that was a sign right there. And then they, people said it was like an earthquake, but it really went through the earth like a torpedo, like underneath the. Water. Well, I remember that socialist. Hugo Chavez, who they murdered, the Illuminati murdered, uh, say that it was a harp-induced quake. Yeah, right. Okay, he could say that. And he had intel at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He also liked to. He was also part of the game too. So he probably just said, put it out like a conspiracy theorist, trying to say how they did something. But maybe that's not how they did it. El diablo, el diablo, el diablo, corazón. <laughs> <laughs> No, really, yeah, they, they whacked that guy. I don't really, I don't believe that it Chavez. was harp. Chavez. Harp is some things, but I don't think it was that. You know, they use harp for certain things, but not that. For heating up the ionosphere, and for you know, if if at most dealing with um, doing uh, tornadoes or volcanoes, you know, heating up. I don't know what kind of a earthquake a harp could. Do. I don't don't really know. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense. I know that they do. We do a patent for burying, uh, disposing nukes in tectonic plates, and how else are they going to do it by shooting it off uh, a torpedo missile into intercontinental ballistic missile? So, and 
the fact is, is that Haiti, they keep hitting them with hurricanes, which I think that could be hard because that would be, they would use the scalar energy to push the chemtrails around, which would then, they, they could do weather modification. So it would be somewhat weather warfare, and then they were, would be, uh, they, they have drought on their um, crops. So the Clinton stranglehold on Haiti just doesn't end. Right, and then they ended up where um, Bill Clinton is actually funding uh, GMO croppers, um, farmers, to to make these GMO crops, and then he's sending these fucked up crops into Haiti, and that's what they're living off of. But the Haiti is crazy, because I was in Haiti too, and... You know they they have a, they have a lot of farmers. They have a, they have water there. They can go fishing. You know they have amazing lobsters and fish everywhere. So it just but they do have a lot of farm and they do have a lot of uh, good soil. I think that that could be intentionally modified and hurt for them to then use their uh, sterilization tactics to kill off some Haitians by using their GMO designed. Probably it's called uh, golden rice, which was designed in a Swiss lab. So, yeah, it's pretty bad. And that's what they'll be eating, like, plastic shit, you know. And when they could be eating, like, really well. I don't understand. Haitians could be really great and everything, you know, productive and part of the world. But we, we just keep, like... Hitting them down and well, they got those stinky Dominicans attached to them right next. Yeah, to and them. so like, why don't they those have a mayonnaise trout? sandwich eaters? It doesn't make a sense. So right, and I was saying that Dominican Republic is right next door to Haiti. So why wouldn't they be messed up? You know, from the drought too. I mean, no, they don't talk about Haiti. It's just how, how I mean, Dominican Republic. They just talk about Haiti. So that means that they very can they can localize areas and. In certain, you know, regions, they could create a drought. Speaking of Dominican, you miss New York? Not at all. You miss New York? You don't miss miss how uh, the street thugs have now become victims under Diablasio in New York, and they can just go around stabbing people. You know the stabbings are up in New York? The stabbings are up in New York. The poop on stoops is up on New York. Right. We had some good times. So, I mean, what about that time you took me out for gazpacho? Where was that at? I don't know. It was like by the dock somewhere. <clears throat> Where I was don't it? remember the name of the place. But well, it was not the place. Where was seaport. it? The seaport. It used to be really cool. But now it's just like really trendy. And not even trendy. It's like, nah, it's not even, it's like a, a tourist spot. It's not even, I don't know, maybe it's. Maybe there's a restaurant or two there that is okay, you know, if you want to eat nuke water. Or get stabbed. Yeah. Because the stabbings are up in New York. And That's something month, I don't miss. Last month was supposed to be the hottest month in New York ever. Like, really, really freaky hot. And um, I'm glad I wasn't there. So I'm glad I'm in Tucson where it's cooler at night and cooler in the morning. And it's better air to breathe. And... Um, I don't know, people are chiller and you get more space around you. I mean, the fact is is that New York City, for me, lost a lot of allure. I've been there my whole life and I just find that, you know, aside from the music and the galleries, I mean, that kind of like, it got weirded out there. I mean, the galleries are just, they come and go so fast. It's like, why are you even there, you know? Like, I think a lot of things can be done on the internet these days and a lot of publicity gets pu- pushed on the internet, that means you could, I already have a name in the art world, you know, I, um, I already have a name in, as a musician, so, like, I don't really have to be there, and it's not like there's a whole lot of clubs to perform at there, so it's kind of dead, I mean, I don't know what the fuck happened, you can't even go see shows like you used to see shows, it really became lame in terms of hip-hop, and even rock, you know, there wasn't a lot of cool rock, everything's like, you have to go to, like, Barclays these days. You know, you actually saw, like, all those Nicki Minaj zombies going there, you know, to these arenas. And they used to be, like, clubs that you'd go to, like, SOBs or, um, you know, just, like, BB King or something, you know? And that was kind of fun. But it just got really weird in New York and very corporate. And you need a lot of money to live there, and it's just not worth it. So let them, they want to live there, everybody's going to live there. Because New York, to them, is the greatest place on earth. And I bet more people that are New Yorkers are trying to be out of New York. Because it's just, 
mean, they probably feel like damp, sweaty gym socks right now. It's so humid over there. I mean, they have pigeons being eaten alive by rats. They're getting so big over there. Yeah, so, I mean, what's with the scorched earth thing? I mean, you know, I think that there's a whole... It's like every state is going on. But it's not like all around the world. It's like, oh, yeah, India or whatever. But, you know, we... They're, they're really fucking with the earth because... And that's not global warming. That is like trying to mess with people. It's geoengineering. Them. Yeah, it's geo. No ifs, ands, and doubts about it. Right. I mean, that's, that's really what it is. You're saying uh, pretty much that New York lost its allure to you. What about here in Tucson where we, we stay cool? Apparently we stay so cool that your mother thinks we should go out more and socialize. I mean, what is up with that? I mean, what what am I going to go out and join a, a freaking lodge? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I don't know. We go swimming. Well, we need to make money. We need to sell jewelry to you. <laughs> Fine natural gemstones, solid sterling silver. Go to antique obsessions slash shop slash Etsy. Yeah, and, com. and Bruce and I are going to be working even on other processes and learn how to really um, gem set and everything like that this summer. So, yeah, so we have a couple All of right, weeks. I'm even sculpting. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've turned into quite an artist. <laughs> you are an artist. You know, you, you made these amazing dinosaur teeth. Pieces, I've been making those all my life. I'm making those all my life. Actually, I sculpted you. I like sculpt. I started sculpting her boobs first. Yeah. And then I like, kind of went down and you know gave her a nice you know, torso. And mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah. So why I, don't I've you been talk sculpting. about how your sculpting. family was in uh, huh? was in jewelry? Look, you know, you said your grandmother used to deal in Mexico. Oh, my grandmother was like a a ragged bum Jesuit with like a cloak that would like. <sighs> Jewelry and like just show off all the jewelry <laughs> that was like in her her bum rags and pretty much I, that's how we made it and um, before they, my okay. family before my family turned into a Mexican death cult again I don't know if they've killed anybody yet but uh, they did kidnap my child SOS my child has been kidnapped by Guadalupana worshiping Jesuits <laughs> so if you want to help Bruce Montalvo uh, First of all, you got you got to buy his jewelry first. <laughs> you got you got to fund the man like that. You you can help the man get his kid back eventually. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. They're MK altering my kid right now. But I, you know, if you want to support <laughs> the show, and don't worry, folks. The authorities are notified. There there is no Beltane blood sacrifices being performed just yet on her that I know of. Uh, you know, I don't know if it could be like. Like bald-headed gangsters or bitches with sharpie chola eyebrows working with my uh, Jesuit freaking parents, her grandparents. I don't know, but that was the last show, wasn't it? I talked about that last show, but I'm still a little pissed. Hmm. I need help. If people want to help me, why don't they go to my uh, coupon code, use my coupon code, go to LaCharmTUSA.com and use coupon code Bruce Save. 10%. So, uh, Jaja is showing me Donald Trump's Miss USA pageant 51 contestants. Okay? <laughs> you showing me chicks. <laughs> no, you're talking about chicks, the... Uh... Boobies, you're showing me. Yeah. Live on air. <laughs> Live on air. So I got boobies in front of me, sitting next to me in a chair, and I got boobies on screen. Live on air. You said the woman accused... Trump of sexual assault. Finally, she broke her silence. Oh, those are all the chicks that broke their silence about Trump pimping them out mm -hmm. to all his buddies. Exactly. All his Mason buddies. And doing. you know what's funny is that he met with his Mason buddies over at the Fraternal Order of Police today. He was giving them the Masonic handshake. You should have seen him standing behind their logo that has the all-seeing eye, the Masonic grip, and the checkerboard behind it. I mean, it doesn't get any more overt than that. I mean, they've gone from covert to overt. I mean, Trump, every second he's on air, he's flashing the, the phallic 666 hand symbol, the Masonic hand symbol. He get, it's like he's got a nervous tick. He's doing it so much. So, you know how Richie Ebers got rich? But he's funding him too. Yeah, you know how he got rich? He used to sell concert tickets and hack them. He, then he had a concert ticket uh -oh. business. 
And then I don't know what he did after that. I know that he just had Saudi Arabia. You know, like your cousin or something? My cousin's uncle. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Anyway, what do, you make, what do you make of that? Let me show you the, the video up on Exposed News on YouTube. Masonic Fraternal Order endorses Trump. You saw those logos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight up the Rosicrucian, the Satanic Pentagram. I mean, that is what these dumb rednecks are just standing there. I mean, most of them know. But some of them don't. They're just dumb hillbillies. I mean, they don't know that Trump is a high-level Mason, picked, hand-picked by Hillary herself to uh, tap out to her, just like wrestling. Of course. And they all have sexual scandals around them, because why? It's Congress. And what does Congress mean? Sex. So, yeah, and it's in Washington, D.C. It's in Virginia. Yeah, Virginia is for lovers. So the entire, you know, play, it's like, if you look at... George Bush, 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 Bush in the bush. I mean, he's like Bush, Bush and then Clit, and Clit, you know, and then Dick, and and then they had Quail, which was another name. <laughs> so I mean, it's a, it's a real joke, okay? Now just get over it. Politics. These are just. It's just like wrestling, and you know the joke gets even funnier when you throw Vince McMahon in the fray. Uh, Gary Johnson stunt double, Vince McMahon. Check this out. WWE, Vince McMahon sells his shares, gay wrestlers, to be announced. As if it didn't get any fruitier than some of the wrestlers they already have on there. I mean, straight up metrosexuals. It it got pretty fruity when they let that MTV idiot, The Miz, on there. And then I I thought they already introduced a gay wrestler. They had that Darren Young. And then this other one that was with uh, pretty much the whole NXT freaking people. Uh, you know, and then the one that did like a flip or whatever. Anyway, it that's was, not new news. Yeah, but they must have been got. They must have gotten excited because you and Dan Bedandi did a a one hour special. No, they've been excited because McMahon did a a cartoon series on WWE Network where he's like trying on as the caricature McMahon, the cartoon caricature. He's putting on a bra. Remember, you saw that. Yes. He's putting on a bra. Oh, that's right. So you know, they always like reveal stuff about people. They all are fucked up. Let me tell you, that guy probably does wear a bra. You know, he's got so much money and he's probably so disturbed. He tells everybody to kiss his ass. But kiss grown, my ass grown up. men. You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you going to be that way? Why are you going to humiliate yourself and kiss another but man's But those ass? are the type of people that are funding Trump, that are funding Hillary, people like Vince McMahon, the Vince McMahons, the, the Ted Turners. These are the guys that want to nail your mouth shut, take away your internet, give it away to the United Nations eventually, and have you respect their authority because you're their slave. I mean, they pretty much told people that at WrestleMania while you know his daughter was like yes. looking like a fucking witch with like we Templar Nazi iron crosses behind what her. What did they say? They said that we own you, we own you're you. our slaves, bow down to the authority. Yeah, that's okay. Funny. Yeah. So, WWE is just right in there. Their new logo is actually the Illuminati Eye of Horus for their Monday night it's show. It's a triangle. It is, right in the middle. It, like, focuses. It starts right in the middle. What do you expect? And of the A in they, Raw. They used to push the, the New World Order. These people are so Jerry Springer, dumbed down. And it's from the fluoride in the water and the food. And they really just keep popping whatever products that they buy in the grocery store. I can't imagine that their brains are so fucking stupid. I mean, we used to be such a, a thinking society, and is it just that the, the fluorescent light bulbs and the fluoride in the water, does it dull our brains? Is it just that we're completely it dull? Didn't, it didn't dull my brain because I was watching WWE, and I tell you, I saw a lot of predictive programming, it, even in the Hulk Hogan Titantron video. He's standing right next to the Twin Towers, I mean, if that's not predictive programming for the towers going down later on, I mean, that's like when they have the Cookie Monster taking a bite out of the towers in, like, 76, a Sesame Street ad. I mean, that is blatant revelation of the method predictive programming. And WWE is, is part of that. You know, they even have Masons with, like, aprons and triangles coming out and, and tag teaming and fighting. Yeah, so they, they show everybody the... Um they act it out, like they play it out in front of everybody's face, and then <clears throat> that's predictive programming. So they slowly infiltrate it into the 
the brain waves as acceptability, you know, as it, as this is acceptable behavior, and this is an interesting concept like New World Order, like NWO. They promoted that as well with Hulk Hogan and Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. And then if you look at Hulk Hogan changing his name to Hollywood, if you look at the name Hollywood itself came from the Druid ritual, the ancient Druid ritual of them carving a holly tree to make their magic wands. Yeah, well, holly is a uh, magical herb and can be used in magic. And it's used for uh, strengthening certain, certain spells. And I'm not really sure you can read about it, you know, but I, I've, I've seen what it does. Speaking you know, of spells, what do you make of that video where we talked about Marilyn Manson and Lady Gaga putting their, their blood and semen together. I mean, that's like right out of, of Madame Cagliast astro freaking spell. Yeah, it's, uh, total, scary it's stuff. blood sorcery. I mean, blood in blood sorcery, Madame Cagliastro, she talks about blood, bodily fluids and using them for magical ceremonies um, as well as sexual ceremonies and obtaining one's magical fluids, and you could make spells, things happen. Now, I don't know what the intention are is for, I mean, I do, actually, the intention is his fame. So the, the perfume is called fame, but if I would to, I'm not, I wouldn't want to, like, spread my period blood around to the world. Does that make, will that make me more famous? I don't know. Will that, you, will other people be able to use my period blood for magic? Well, I called her I a capitalist. Know. I called her a libertarian. Uh, I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with her or Marilyn Manson. I think Marilyn Manson just uh, caught a, a bad rap or his PR told him to, oh yeah, they're going to blame Columbine. Okay, on, wait, on, that's on something here. else, Bruce. Okay, now Columbine is something else. But if you want to talk about Columbine, actually, Anesh... From KMFDM was the, the first person blamed, and he was wrecked. And they were calling KMFDM. The well, that's why I said he picked it up like PR after yeah. that guy pretty much uh, was devastated by it. Right. But let's get back to talking about the whole blood sorcery thing. I mean, they are pretty much glamorizing a, a, a witchcraft ritual. Yeah, but they complicated it because they used blood Gaga and semen. and Manson. Semen. They used blood and semen. Now, was the... The, the thing is, is that in Cagliastro's book, the semen or the blood, the um, the sex juices or whatever else. The sex it, magic. Yeah, that you should be obtained that from an act of the couple together. You understand? Like, was the, what I'm asking is, is was the sperm and cum, was that obtained through, uh, a, through an act? We're a family show. Yeah, right. Through an act we're of the two show. of them. Or, and was her blood, did he give his blood to, no, just... No, it was a diluted micro sample. I mean, it was as corporate as can be. All I'm saying is, it's glamorizing this type of satanic nature. Now, all the teens are going around spraying Marilyn Manson's nut and Lady Gaga's period on them. Does it smell good? Okay, I don't know. But, you know what? It leads me to living forever. Because the elite are somehow living forever. People like David Rockefeller are living forever. I mean, how many heart transplants has that guy had? I mean, he's living forever. The Queen of England is living forever. George H.W. Bush is still around. I mean, many so if I use, Henry Kissinger is still around. If I use Lady Gaga's perfume, then I will become famous, and I will be able to use it for magic. Let me tell you something. I think she uses more than just her perfume, because, I mean, it was uh, rumored that at the London Intercontinental Hotel, she was actually bathing in blood. Now, whether that was PR yeah, yeah. or whatever, I already said I think she's a libertarian. I <laughs> have no problems with her. I'm just stating that the elite, those high up, are into blood magic, blood sorcery. And we know that the Queen of England, along with people like Kim Jong-il, have disappeared People disappeared, kids, and they're drinking their blood. Uh, you know, some of these monarchs are even related to people like Elizabeth Bathory, the blood countess. I mean, you had Prince Philip and the people from England saying they're related to Vlad Dracula. They want to come back as viruses to purge 
the the earth of humanity. I'd rather not drink blood to make myself live longer. There's got to be okay. people are diabolical fiends. I they want us dead. I don't know. First of all, I, Lady Gaga does not drink that. Oh, blood. she doesn't want us dead. I'm talking about the oligarchs. Yeah. Uh, they literally wrap freaking babies, fetuses in like burrito wrapper and just go to town on Why them. Why would they want to do that? First of all, the queen looks old, all right? So if she's 90 years old, she Yeah, why she is she does looking not, so good at night? She doesn't yeah. look good. You see those fangs on her? She doesn't you see look those good. Fangs? Look at those she looks. She looks five years They're younger sharp. than my great-grandmother, and they look exactly alike. And you saw my great-grandmother. You, you saw my grandmother in when she was... Um, you saw her dressed up. She was all... She was all dressed up. She looked just as good as the queen. And and you know what? She's five years older, so that's bullshit. Okay? I don't believe that these, this is that they really are drinking. The much. elites are into these rituals, whether you like it or not. It goes back to the ancient Druids. Maybe some It goes back are. to the ancient Canaanites. Maybe weirdos The are. Illuminati are the so weirdos. So why aren't they living, to, living forever? They're into blood. No, they're not. They're, listen. The guys that are living long life, the, the Rockefellers, like forever. David Rockefeller, that has nothing to do with them drinking blood. Okay, that has to do with hormones and like gene and replacements and like organ replacements. That's what these guys are living. You know, Dick Cheney doesn't have a heart. He's, he's living with weird uh, DARPA like machinery in him. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That's what's going on with their money. In terms of healing, I guess they can be using. Scalar energy for expedited healing, for sure. Um, <clears throat> you know, they do learn ha what people are living longest on the planet, and they do do research on it. And these people can afford that kind of technology. Now, <clears throat> are they, excuse me, are they are they drinking blood? Well, there are people uh, around that do drink blood because they're fucking weird. All right, there are weirdos, and there is. I remember hearing shit about like just weirdos that do shit like that, and there's also people that 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 put holes in their brain. They drill holes like right here, like as if in their fed, forehead, in their forehead, and they tap it with with a um, some kind of a nail or something because it gives them a rush. It, it it gives them a dopamine rush or some shit. I don't know. You know, there's fucking weirdos. Oh, I'm can, telling you. Of course, there's people that. Cut out the pineal gland and freaking drink it. Yeah, supposedly they get a high from that also. So, you oh, know. The, the, this is a sick cult, and I wouldn't be surprised if people like Hillary Clinton are looking into getting the life extension. I no. mean, they got her no. propped up on pillows. They oh, got right. that's why she's a living. guy. That's why she's living by the nuclear auto plant. injections. That's why she's living by the nuclear plant. Nuclear plant. Yeah. Okay, uh, that was our Rachel Maddow moment. Uh, she's not a lesbian, but yeah, I don't understand uh, what's with the protecting of this this Clinton. I mean, we know she's going to be president, but she, what what she's a martyr. What about the millions of Libyans that she's killed? What about the Americans that I just mentioned earlier? The conspiracy. You have Sean Lucas. You have Seth Rich. Joe Montano. You have John Ash, and the wingnut Vic Thorne. All people connected to exposing Hillary dead weeks in between each other. So uh, we don't protect murderers or scumbags here. Uh, you know, it's it's just not, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. But I understand it's, they're all part of the bipartisan big government establishment, folks. And um, we, we have to do our best to uh, remain confident that we could expose them because they're they're out to get us, folks. They're out to to take your guns. She's gonna be an extension of Obama's presidency. She's gonna remain in Washington. Obama's gonna remain in Washington as Hillary Clinton. It's it's not gonna change. And you know what? I think she'll even appoint Obama to the Supreme Court. And then we'd be stuck with him forever. Forever. You'd have Herod Obama, the freaking pharaoh, stuck with us forever after they whacked Scalia. Now, that's what it was. See, I don't, we don't protect Hillary Clinton here. I don't. All the Libyans that have died, the day she came, she saw, she died. You know how many people she's killed from the DNC? 
Bruce, my opinion of Hillary won't change. She's an Hillary, actress. K- Hillary. Okay. Hillary, Hillary, whatever you want to call her. Hillary, Kali, kill a ton. Mm-hmm. You can call her that. But she is um, merely, that's why she gets paid. She's merely an actress. Jessica Lange, her first cousin, she's an actress as a politician. And this is your theory, right? Because no. you didn't go to genealogy.com or you didn't like get their semen out of a No, I went to, to a Twitter. I went to related. Twitter and I saw a picture of Hillary and Jessica together in an elevator hanging out. They looked just like each other. And they were hanging out. So anyway, Bruce, it proves to me why she's getting $100,000. That's full of the Nazi bloodlines to It you. proves me to, to me why she's getting paid $100,000 for certain speeches is because she's a political actress. And she is not doing that dirty work. There's no way. Okay, that woman is too busy and there's not enough hours in a day to even plan half that stuff that's going on behind her back. She is just the, merely there to absorb and reflect. So it's all, it's all a bunch of inside baseball that comes straight out of the Pentagon. Absolutely. You do, do you, how much time is there in a day? She wakes up, she gets dressed, she's got to go to meetings, she's got to go to rallies. Tell me where in her day does she have time to figure it out? So, there's your answer, Bruce. She's an actress. You know, I'm looking on Google, and, she, and what better to have uh, actresses and actors as uh, presidents? You have uh, Ronald Reagan as well. Yes, exactly. But I'm looking, I'm looking. And you're, uh, and you're I'm governator. I'm looking. He, wasn't a pre- he was the president of California. Of California. Look, I'm looking on Google, and already there are so many excuses for Trump's future loss. It's not even funny. Uh... Uh, trending, Trump making excuses for his loss already. U.S. election, Donald Trump votes. Warren's vote could be could be rigged. He's lined up excuses again. This is from the communists over at MSNBC, but they're right. These are excuses, but these are calculated excuses because he's working with the left. He is a democratic plant. He is a democon. Trump is a goddamn snake in the grass. And all of you idiots are being swindled. I mean, so I see so many rednecks that are for Trump. First of all, I mean, since when do rednecks get swindled by New Yorkers? Okay. New York City? I thought you liked Pace. No, now you want the New York City. I, I don't get it. Okay. What I do get, what I do like on the surface is that Donald Trump is a businessman. I mean, compared to Hillary who's basically a bum like Bernie Sanders has never had a job in her life, doesn't know the meaning of work besides working for the government, not the private sector. I mean, I respect that. But again, that's all by design. It is meant to corral uneducated WWE mentality people to uh, basically associate to Trump and just like the Bernie Sanders campaign was a big letdown, just like the Ron Paul campaign was a big letdown, the Trump campaign is going to be a big letdown. It's going to be a huge letdown. And I hate to say I told you so, folks. I mean, this whole thing, what it does is basically popularize government. At the end of the day, that's why I've said it at the beginning of the show, I said, I'm apolitical, but I still hate tyrannical scum. Hillary is tyrannical scum. Trump is tyrannical scum. I don't, don't disres... I don't freaking... Uh, uh, I don't disassociate from either scum. I look at them as... But, as but you, witch, by you, Buki, every week, blaming the same two characters for the, for the root of all the problems is wrong. But in my opinion, the bigger problem is... First of all, all the political shills that are out there blocking, cock-blocking the Pentagon and for the other decisions for everybody else. There's other people that, are do, that have hardcore jobs, and Washington has a lot of people in it. And believe me, there's, no, there's not enough time in a day for Hillary to be planning half those things that she's accused of. So you don't think anything's going to happen. You think that Putin, who told Putin, who is having a homosexual freaking bromance with... Uh, Trump and Alex Jones, all three of those guys, nothing's going to happen in Russia. No. It's just going to be like Y2K all over again. Trump, I mean, uh, Putin 
is not going to do anything. We are down with Russia. 40,000 troops on the border of Ukraine. And again, the U.S. was creating an illegal junta with the CIA in Ukraine. We know that. And, you know, all the, the freaking terrorism they stirred over there, shooting down planes to get into altercations with Putin on purpose. Is that what we really want? We want a showdown with Putin? We want Rocky freaking four? We um, want Obama versus Putin? Do you know the uh, the country Georgia? Yes. Okay. Well, that, Shakasvili, that country, is a UN-controlled region that was formerly Russia. That is... We are over there with chemical weapons... So anything that goes on, you know, is a world... These world leaders are just Dr. Strange loving around. You know, they use... Both Russia and the U.S. use the same place, Georgia, in Russia. They go... They use it for their weaponry. You know, so it's mutual territory. And we are also there in Russia for NASA. So NASA's over there. So... You know, it's very hard for me to think that anything that's not going on is not very contrived, controlled, and pointed. You know, and, and they, they're they all working together, and there's no way we're warring with So that's why people. Obama doesn't care. He goes out and he golfs with Larry David. Nobody because he's not cares. making the decisions. He's telling you that by golfing. He's going over there and he's eating like $350,000 worth of organic food or whatever. That's how much he spent uh, golfing at Martha's Vineyard with this this schmuck, Larry David, and he doesn't care that he's, that he's, he's just going to keep poking the bear, poking Russia. Mm. Well, that's what he's doing on surface. Now, that's a political game because, you know, we always, it's all part of our um, exceptionalism in America that we like to say that we're the best and then they, they suck and then that they, they're the best and they want to say that, you know, whatever. But really, we're at war together at the same time in the same places. So what I'm trying to get at is what happens if a Russian jet accidentally shoots down an American jet in Syria? Well, then they did, they did that on purpose because they wanted that uh, American those Americans to die. Right, 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 right. The, uh, They've done that the before. Syrians, you, know, you know what I'm saying? They, they do that. It's all internal, so... Anyway, if you want to go to war, go ahead. Go to war. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be in the army, go ahead. I'm not stopping you. The American needs you. Go ahead. Go to the military. There you have it. Obama, <laughs> you know, Obama ripped Bush back in the day for uh, Katrina. But what's going on, going back to Louisiana, what's going on in, in uh, America right now under Obama in Louisiana, th that's the same as as Bush's Katrina. So Obama's, uh, he has his own Katrina right now. He doesn't care. He's out playing golf. Well, I mean, what does that say? Well, why isn't Kanye West standing there going, Obama doesn't like black people. Does it, don't we need that? I think Kanye needs to do that. Go there. Kanye, why don't you go to, Katri go to Katrina and say, Obama doesn't like black people. And see, it's because he's over there. It's because Kanye doesn't like black people either. It's because... Jay Z and Beyonce don't like freaking black people either because they're trying to get black people killed by the police. And Clinton freaking has got her ski mask on. She's got her nine. You know, I mean, she, the, people like her and and uh, Al Sharptons. I mean, they are responsible for bloodshed. They are. They're responsible for the the level of turmoil, the animosity that's brewing it in places like like New York right now. I mean, along with the bum crap that's festering on the stoop there, I mean, you have a environment of of just hate, I and mean, it's a, a sizzling human environment. I mean, people are going to start killing each other there soon enough. Yeah, I think they do have that hate spray that you know. Regardless of what other talk show hosts want to diss us about or to say that what we're talking about is poppycock, mm. first of all, there are chemtrails and there is a crazy humidity over there in New York right now and it, the East Coast is dying. It's 
No, I mean, it's 81 degrees, but from what I understand, it's like a sweat bath. And I feel bad for all those people there, but they love New York so much that they're willing to pay $2,000 a month to stay there and, you know, and suffer. And But I think that tensions are very high over there because people are Agenda 21 right on top of each other. Their, the, the, the living conditions are very difficult. If you are able to afford a $1,500, 1800 to twenty five hundred dollar rent apartment, you maybe are lucky you don't have roaches. Okay, I've seen a lot of places of my friends that pay two thousand dollars that still have buildings with bed bugs and roaches. So I mean, the cost of living is you know you're torturing yourself. But I think that on top of that, they they do a spray and they it's a mood related spray. Of course, the aluminum and the barium does set off seizures. And it can. So well, you said it before on this program. It not only gives sets off seizures, but it attacks your central nervous system directly. Like breathing in the aluminum, the barium, yeah, and all that. That's right, and it does different things to different people. So, and uh, <clears throat> and that and whatever else they want to put in there, Zika spray and Zika. All kinds of protection. It just compounds things. after that. Yeah. It's, it's just a toxic cocktail ready to kill you. It's so thick. The air is so thick in New York. You can't even, like, you have to, like, cut it. You, can, you can't even see, like, a block away sometimes. It's so gross. And I started to see a white film in the air, and it was really messed up. And I'm glad that I'm out of there. And anybody, it's very hard to get out, but if you can. Just leave. I mean, the nuclear stuff is a joke. I mean, the, the, the water's already damaged, so it's in the ground wall. It's in the ground water. The tritium's in your system. Just get it out, you know, and then maybe try to live. And if you live anywhere near the, the Indian Point or any nuclear uh, facility, you should leave. I mean, again, in Albuquerque, you know, why are people there? They're fucking idiots, you know. They're just, why are you there if you have a, a leak? Speaking of, of idiots, uh, I can't believe this actually happened in an American uh, water park. And this is uh, leading me to my top ten list. I got number ten right here. First story here. Dad demands to know how son was decapitated on water slide. You hear that? Here in America, kids are getting decapitated on water slides. I mean, those things don't look safe. I mean, we go swimming and, you know, even some of the locals don't get on some of the slides that they got. Yeah. I don't know why nobody goes on any of the slides here in Tucson, but I think it has something to do with uh, the fact that there have been a lot of accidents and, you know, your head could get hit underneath when you're finally going underneath by the slide. Or I don't know that particular slide, how it looks, but maybe there's a, a crazy feature on it. I don't know. It's just dangerous to go into slides, and even diving is very dangerous sport. You know, you, your head can hit the uh, diving yeah, board. Back of the diving board. Apparently, this happened in Kansas. The dad of the boy killed on the world's tallest water slide. The world's tallest water slide, demanding to know how his son could have lost his life on the ride. Sad. Truly sad. If it's not some type of fake story. Because that sounds a little sensational as well. Kid decapitated on world's tallest water slide. It sounds as sensational as Hussein Bolt in the Olympics running 90 miles per but hour. Why this kid and not the old... Smiling while he uh, is running 90 miles per hour and taking a selfie. Yeah. Why this kid and why not any other kid? It's really weird. It is quite strange. Almost as strange as uh, still seeing men with freaking ghost costumes run around Zig Heiling. And that is what the KKK plans to do. They plan to disrupt a Black Lives Matter rally in the Hamptons. In the New York Post yesterday, Ku Klux Klan coming to the Hamptons. The hate group says as uh, some 2,500 members on Long Island. So apparently Long Island, your old hometown is filled with Nazi KKK freaking ghosts. What neighborhood? We used to have a house in Montauk, but what... Um... They're having a rally at the Hamptons. They're going to go toe-to-toe with Black Lives Matter. You know what? These people at the end, they all get their directives from Army PSYOPs mm-hmm. because they're they're both being used to stir up 
a civil war. Yeah, just like they a did counter revolution with the Arab Spring. I mean, they used social media. They co-opted. I can't get a stupid freaking post seen to more than ten people on Facebook these days. You know, if you don't pay for it or if it's not the right kind of picture, they freaking hone in on you. But but if they want to push uh, some kind of mass flash uh, flash rally or whatever the hell they want, yeah, whatever to they do. want to put in your face, yeah. whatever that's sponsored, yeah, whatever what sponsored, they will on fascist book. Yeah, they'll totally. And even if it's not sponsored, it's sponsored because they can target. You can pay to get messages targeted to certain people, so they can pay. They can fund through Facebook. Or Twitter messages to you, so you know, look out and don't be part of the the uh, brainwash. Okay, we're at uh, number eight. Twitter suspends two hundred thirty five thousand or more accounts over extremism. Now, uh, maybe some of these accounts were uh, the Pentagon's very own ISIS freaking Mujahideen accounts. Uh, some people in uh, the fake right wing because they're really a left wing they're saying that oh it was a bunch of trump twitter you know twitter accounts that were shut down but really it's just it's just like i said it's a bunch of pentagon manufactured twitter accounts that they just shut down to make news and i'm not trying to say that radical islam doesn't exist it does exist the cia invented it I'm not trying to say... Oh, I've met a lot of people, Bruce. I've met fucking straight up um, Hezbollah people at parties. And like, and I've talked about... Hey, who created them? Yeah, but these people... The U.S. created their own enemy. Okay, but I'm talking about even on a local, physical, personal level. I was at a party hanging out and talking to this guy. And he said he was from Lebanon and he was... And he hates Jews and he was from Hezbollah. I was like, holy shit. You yeah, know? you felt like you had to like get your gut out and you might have to blast that something. Yeah, out. I mean, the guy was like straight up. Like, yeah, you needed your your phone books on you so you wouldn't get shanked. You, I did. I mean, they, these people do exist. It's not just a... No, 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 I'm not blinded to it. Right. But they do exist because the U.S. facilitates it. Even Dick Cheney himself said, oh, there's no reason to go into Iraq uh, before they went into Iraq. Uh, it was basically saying it was a fruitless war, but we went in there and we gave them weapons because we wanted to destabilize the Soviets, the Russians, and now they exist today. So um, and they hate gonna Jews. Get it, they it hate Jews. Weapons. They hate Jews. They hate Americans. They hate you, and uh, you know the CIA is working with them. So it is Shabbat right now. So and, I see uh, why Trump doesn't trust the CIA because <laughs> I mean people like George Soros and I mean don't don't get it twisted. Obama is George Soros' puppet. And George Soros is putting the money down to take away the sovereignty of America by flooding us with people like you said that he told you straight to your face he hated Jews, this Lebanese guy. Yeah, and then he was Hezbollah. They're flooding America with scum. Go eyeball eating freaking trash that that they don't care about love. No. The the Quran doesn't say love your neighbor next door. It says go kill him if he doesn't uh, freaking praise the Baphomet like right. you, like the Jesuits told the Muslims to do. I mean, you know, this is basically this Arab versus the West clash of civilizations is basically the crusades happening all over again. They're basically playing pin the tail on the donkey on the Arabs, and they're making them the, the new jackasses to uh, vilify. And it's happening over and over and over again. I mean, you see, even in the occult history, the Freemasons, they got their knowledge, most of their knowledge, from the Persian Arabic sages. So they've been working hand in hand through the centuries, the the Catholic Church and the Persians, and they're the ones that are still, to this day, setting up tribunals, courts, to kill Jews, to continue to kill Jews. I still see it, especially in the Fourth Reich here in the United States, because the Nazis won the war. America see, exactly. never won the war. That's the propaganda right. that we're not told. why the Fourth Reich allows for so many... 
for so many Arabs to come in here. Not that I have anything against them because I have friends that are Arab and I have nothing against uh, Muslim people. But I bet but, your Twitter is shutting down accounts that are exposing this facade, this this holographic reality that I'm exposing. I just don't here. understand they're, they're why they're shutting down our accounts. Why they're why, why they're allowing people that believe in Sharia law and why people in burqas are really coming in here. Let, let's say I you don't post a tweet. That. Let's say you post a tweet about how you don't understand how this throwback freaking uh, burqa is being worn, and you post that on Twitter. Now you can be suspended just like all these other accounts were suspended that more than likely were freaking Pentagon well, accounts. Well, I don't know. Look, the France what right now, Hardin accounts? the French are shutting down the burkinis. They said they're illegal. You can't. Wow. Yeah, I think that's so cool. So, the, and I don't understand how come they let so many Arabs in there. And, well, they, they're they like the, the fashion capital of the world. Other parts of their... Marseille or whatever is so crowded. Everything is written in Arabic. You know, they allowed so many, although it's close to Morocco, but still, so it's so Arabic that even street signs are in Arabic. And they're French, and they're France. It, why isn't it in French? It doesn't make sense. So why can't they come here? And, and, well, but that's and, what you're going to get. Hillary Clinton is selling freaking uranium to Russia, and she's going to expand bringing in more freaking... Syrian refugee rape gangs into America, she really is going to be America's Angela Merkel. I don't think that their rape gangs are going to do so well here in the United States. I think people, you know, we have more guns here. I mean, let them try it in, in Arizona. Speaking of rape, oh no, they'll get shot. Speaking of rape, folks, let's go to number, number seven on my top ten list. Uh, Hulk Hogan, who... Uh, was in his own freaking uh, rape video. He raped himself. <laughs> uh, he, 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 he pretty much he pretty much body slammed Gawker, and now the website Gawker, besides selling all their shares to Univision, are now kaput. Gawker is kaput because, hey brother, you hear me, Gawker? I drop a leg drop on you, brother. Oh, yeah. I'd end up with uh, Randy Savage, but that's what he did. He dropped a leg drop on Gawker. Hulk Hogan did. Mm. So that right there is telling you that he can, it was uh, the freedom of the press to have the, the Hulkster and his Hulkamaniac exposed. It was free freedom of the press, but he said, oh, no, no, you violated my uh, privacy, and he shut down a, uh, a press company, or a, uh, you shut down, basically, all their associated sites were sold to uh, Univision, they're basically body slammed by Hulk Hogan, Gawker got body slammed, and that's it, Blow. they're kaput, now, uh, that was number seven, now, uh, number six, just like I said earlier, Trump can't wait till this thing's over. He wants to get some sleep. He's already making a ton of excuses. He saying, sounds so tired. Forget about it. You know, I'm going to lose already. You know, it's not me running for president. It's me fighting the media. And what better here, uh, I believe this is number six, what better is uh, to fight the media with than by starting your own TV network? So Trump here Just like Bloomberg, is huh? totally going to want launch his own TV network. Oh, when he loses, That's right. Donald Trump hates the media so much that he's probably going to join it. Exactly. That's what the, all this is. It's a media event. And he's Still, regardless, I don't understand how he's all over the media. He's giving interviews literally like an insomniac. He's not even sleeping. Mm -hmm. And Hillary Clinton can't even be around a crowd of 10 people without breaking into seizures or spasming or not being propped up. You know, with, with my pillow, someone needs to go and slap her. Don Imus needs to go over to her and slap her with a my pillow mm -hmm. because she's as corrupt as can be. I mean, what makes this Goldman Sachs friggin' wench think that that? I mean, has she had enough? I mean, she she wants she is literally gonna rule with like a crown and a scepter. Oh God! And the scepter is gonna go you know straight what? up America's ass. If 
the queen herself didn't stop ruling for She's how many coronated. Years? How many years has the queen been in power? The real the queen from England, the queen of England. They're they're controlling the United States. Okay, so then still, what's the difference? Since seventeen seventy six. Then what difference does it make? What cousin is is now crowned the four year or eight year president of manager of this country? I mean, she's not even a manager. She's just there, the spokesperson at this point. She's the ma- she wouldn't you know she wouldn't even make it as the manager of a Whataburger. Okay, she wouldn't even make it. Uh, cleaning the toilet out of Whataburger. I mean, she is just god awful. She what business has Hillary Clinton ever run? Has she ever run a business, or is she just into giving speeches on how to sell out America and basically be a spy for the Chinese? That's what she is. I mean, the guy at the FBI, that Dillweed, Comey said, "Oh, uh, yeah, she did receive classified." information. And then he says she didn't receive classified information, but then he did, but then she didn't. I mean, it's obvious. And then you have Bill Clinton pretty much bitch slap the feds and say, oh, it's a bunch of BS, whatever you people are saying, while he's banging Loretta Lynch somewhere to get her to testify for Clinton the right way. I mean, these people are just complete trash. Is Trump going to continue his uh, preaching of Clinton hatred on his network? No, he's going to love her when she's president. He already loved her before that. Yes. That's what all these uh, republicards don't don't seem to remember. Yeah, nobody remembers called them, anything. He called them idiots in People Magazine, 1998. Now, whether that's true or not, I mean, I'm pretty sure they quoted him. Why would he lie, right? I mean, he was on Fox News saying that she was a terrific woman. And that if he were to run, he'd run as a Republican. Everything that that quote said, he's doing right now. Yeah. He is literally a vampire that is going to put the nail in the already pathetic coffin of the GOP. With that, I go to number five. Uh, Trump may cause the GOP, the grand old party, to lose New York State Senate. You see that? Trump is a total plan for the Clintons and the Democratic warfare, welfare machine. To just continue to take and take and take until there's nothing left to take. Hmm. And guess what? We're slaves after that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Shout outs to all my uh, friends in uh, Oregon Penitentiary. Yeah, in Oregon jails. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, let's see, that's that's number five. I hope you're doing well in uh, getting uh, too many. Yeah, yeah, I hope you're getting your commissary and your jail cookie. Here you go, uh, number number five, I believe. Oh, was it number five? It's very hard to keep track of the top ten that's list four. when you're interrupting and, you know, then I'm interrupting and then, you know, breaking news is interrupting and it's just interrupting. You're, you're on four. Four. Homeland Security Secretary... Homo, homeland, homosexual land security. You know, Dan Bedondi tried to say homeland security, but he said homosexual. I bet that's what they are. They're a bunch of homosexuals over at the homeland, homo land security. Oh, the homeland. Yeah, we have the purple, pink triangle, purple trouser well, snake. a lot of those um, Nazis were bisexuals. Anyway, they're happy that the death toll is rising right now in Louisiana. It's up to 13. It's a Masonic number, so they're happy. They're it's rejoicing. three, three, three. It's seven, three, 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 three. What? And you said that. It was seven. Th- you see, it's seven, three, three, three. Oh, yeah, it's very three. esoteric. I see it right here yeah. on, on my... Uh, time. On my time, on my Kronos watch yeah, right here. you were saying something Masonic. Right, so here, here we see uh, we're at number three now. Ukraine saber-rattling. Vladimir Putin places 40,000 troops and armored vehicles along the border. I mean, these guys are ready to go. You want to talk about getting your guns up. I mean, these guys, at the Kalishnikovs and all that good stuff, man, they are strizapped. You know, I said earlier on Exposed News, I compared I compared Hillary Clinton to Ice-T. And uh, that's, you know, not fair 100% because maybe I have to explain it because I'm comparing her to the old body count Ice-T. 
Mm-hmm. Not the the patriot Ice T that says, "Hey, get your guns up." He's basically saying, "Get your guns up," just like you too. Everybody wants to get their guns up. When is damage control gonna come out? I don't know. You should play that song. Get your guns up. I should play it. We will play it because we have our own radio station, MBN Radio Network. If you go to Spreaker, MBN Radio Network, tune in to that. And tune in definitely every Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Mountain Time to the Bruce Montalvo Show broadcasting on Spreaker, broadcasting on TalkStream Live Fridays, 9 p.m. Eastern. I want to thank TalkStream Live, all our listeners that are coming through Talk Stream Live. I mean, we're up very high on Talk Stream Live every week. It's That's high in the sky, man. It's fantastic. Sky high. Yeah, Talk Stream Live is amazing. It's just uh, the world is just incredible these days. It allows you to be directly on a platform where you are listened to and listened with um, uh, all the best in radio uh, next to you. All the top most riveting live stream talk shows are on Talk Stream Live. Yeah. All talk radio, the best in talk radio. The best, and it's a, it's a nice montage. It keeps right up on uh, up to contemporary, up to the minute, who's on live, you know, and who's the hottest. And somehow oh, really- we're the hottest, because you introduced me. You said I was the sexiest <laughs> talk show host. Hashtag sexy on Talk Stream Live right now. Uh, check it out, folks. Uh, we're at number three, right? It's number three at top ten list. Uh, no, two. Two? Mm-hmm. It's already two. Um, I'm, I need to learn how to count again, folks. Uh, number two, this one's a good one. CERN, Satanic Human Sacrifice. It was staged. It was 100% fake. You saw that? They, you had the researchers at CERN. I mean, they're shown to have a sense of humor when they're not opening up portals and multidimensional portals, talking to deities, talking to archons, worshipping Shiva, which is pretty much going to be present pretty soon when Hillary gets in there. When they're not doing that, they're doing these America's Funniest Home Videos, Geneva's Funniest Home Videos in front of the CERN facility. What did you think of that? That was wacky. Did they, did they really expect they did, like, the us to witch. believe that? It's like a Blair Witch kind of a thing. It's really like that's bad. really hip right now. Just like bad blurred videos. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Passed off as like true. I mean, how many? How many of those do we see on the Alphabet freaking soup news? So tell the audience about Columbine. Is you that you on the top dummies. ten list? No, but you saw dummies. You brought up Marilyn Manson were, before, and you were talking about you know that. That he, he, uh. Yeah, they wanted to blame him like he was, like Marilyn Manson was at Columbine himself with an AK when it was like the ATF and the feds throwing a bunch of dummies, dummies. around all over the yeah, place. Yeah, Bruce analyzed it and he saw dummies from back then. All right, that's what I was talking about when we get interrupted by our own, you know, selves on air. Yeah. Because now we're at number one. Number one, what do you think number one is? It's Donald Trump meeting. With the Fraternal Order of Masons for a better police state. Yes, a better police. A better police state. So he's he's meeting with the Masons that want your kid microchipped and they uh, you know want to do blood sacrifices every Sunday or whatever on a full moon. <laughs> and uh, at the same time, he sheltered Gaddafi. Who knows if Gaddafi even faked his death and is still living in Jersey under the quarters that he bought from Trump. I mean, he's, maybe he's living off of quarters right now. You don't know how... I mean, you don't know. Yeah, Is yeah. He like they, they helicopters could go right on the Gaddafi top. Is Gaddafi like a bomb on the side of the street? No. And he's, they, got, he's got it, right? I mean, they have helicopters, you know. On he's the got top a Trump mansion roof. somewhere yeah, in New Jersey. Exactly. So he's got one... Gaddafi's still alive. He's got one of Trump's mansions. But Trump is still saying... That he wants a commission on radical Islam. Yeah, right. Okay. He's a big fat hypocrite. Of course they are. They're all hypocrites. Because even Hulk Hogan shredded a picture of Gaddafi. Hmm. So you have Trump now giving Gaddafi a house? I mean, don't, don't, don't get it wrong. I mean, Gaddafi, they, they paint him with a very bad brush. First of all, he didn't want Libya. 
who was literally the crown jewel of Africa. It was blossoming, had the most water reservoirs. Uh, it, I mean, the streets looked like suburbs in California in Libya before the U.S. went in there. He was giving people housing, and they were on the gold dinar. They were not backed by a central bank that was owned by the Rothschilds or anybody like that. And then what do you know? You got to invade Libya. They freeze his assets. Hillary Clinton froze his assets, laughed at that. She said they came, they saw, and they he died. And then barked like a little dog after that. Like a little evil dog, Hillary Clinton's barking while laughing about coming, seeing, and killing people. Yeah, which which should tell you right now, right then and there, when she said that at the time, that she was freaking lying and acting because obviously she said it with the fact that he was alive because she was wouldn't be making fun of somebody's death and she was just throwing out some words because she's a cover story and she was she's a spokesperson. That's why she gets paid so much money. So how are they going to cover up these past five deaths? Yeah, how do you know they even died? They could just it could, be, it could be psychological operations. You don't know. The, the, the idea of the Hillary Clinton campaign right now is fear Hillary. Uh, Barack Obama's was hope for Barry. You know, hope for Barack. And this is fear Hillary. So I don't didn't hope and I don't fear. And that's what the Dalai Lama said is the worst thing you could do is hope or fear. And that's why I'm just in status quo, superdelegates. They're the ones making any any decisions at the end of the day. I mean, it was obvious that, that so many people were after, were into Bernie, you know, all over the place. It would have been like pretty much Bernie and Trump if it was, things were really fair. But they're not fair. They don't make sense. And nobody knows what the hell's going on. But really what's going on is the super dele- delegates, whoever the fuck they are, stupid, will stupid be making... Stupid delegates. Stupid delegates. Will be making those decisions. Because at the end of the day, you're still going to get... Hillary Clinton with the Thug Life glasses and the Thug Life joint and the Thug Life hat running America with a Glock freaking in her hand. That's what you're going to get. And you're going to get Muslim rape gangs, refugees coming over here. And guess what? They're going to destabilize the middle class while you're so stupid that they're taxing you for it. That they're taxing you just to allow people like George Soros' wildest fantasies of overthrowing America with freaking go eyeball eating scum that will never assimilate, that hates America. I mean, I just don't understand. You have Obama golfing with this anti American capitalist scum, this schmuck, it's not even Jewish. There's Larry David, he's a Michelin, making Jews look bad. And I don't understand why these people hate America so much. I mean, they make their, their millions, they make their billions here in America, and, and they, they want to destroy it. I don't understand. How can you hate a country that gave you everything? Well, I don't know why they're here. I just don't know. I don't know why there's, there's the Mexicans fourth right. here. I don't know why Mexicans are here. What are they... In fucking limbo? No, I no, mean, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Mexicans have always been here going back to the Abraham Lincoln. You're talking about the new Mexicans that the are coming new Mexicans, in now. Mexicans, I don't understand. Guatemalans, How about this? How about this? I don't understand why fucking MS-13 are in London. I don't understand why that freaking Wahhabi and chief London mayor over there is now just destroying freaking uh, London. Yeah. I mean, the, the Arabs are going over there and Islamifying everything. Germany, London, America, and everywhere they're going, they're preaching death to the Jew. You know what? The, yeah, and you know, it reminds me, it's like an echoing of uh, what happened in World War II when everybody was like, oh, we want more nationalism. We don't want those Jews. So there was this uh, this uh, false propaganda. This, and that's how the Nas- well, the Democratic Nationalist Party, I mean, that's the Nas- that's the Nazi Party. So... We're democratic, and we would want to be using some of those. Oh, we're democratic, right. So oh, you just have to welcome these refugee scum into your house like this woman did, 
and ended up yeah, getting well, raped used in Germany. She welcomed used. refugees in her home, yes, and then they raped her. Yes, but they're being her. used for patsies to hate them, so we could, so then we would have a reason to hate, and then I guess we would want the criminal, um, the prison system would get paid. I can't imagine why else they would want them here. Like, if they're not going to be absorbed cor- correctly, then why are they here for, for destruction? But this is part of the Fourth Reich's plan to... Uh, destabilize America. Well, Khrushchev, Khrushchev said it best. He said that Americans aren't just going to accept socialism right away, that they need to give it to them in incremental doses, bit by bit by bit by bit. That's what they've been doing with, uh, with the Clintons, with the Obamas, and they're going to do it again with Hitler. And... I, I don't think we're, we're ever going to recover from, from this Hillary presidency. I mean, it's it, it could be end times. I'm not trying to throw in the, the freaking white towel here. Oh, end times. But, I mean, look at what's going on. You have uh, gay wrestlers in the WWE. You have uh, transgender bathrooms. And you have uh, Putin freaking about to go to war in the Ukraine and war in Syria. And they're trying to bring in people here, thousands of people, that the government themselves is going to radicalize and use as patsies to, in the end, take away your civil liberties. It's all about taking away your civil liberties. It's all about a one world order, a one world bank, a one world government. And that's what they'll be doing, Bruce, is that they will be, by hating on the Arabs or whatever Muslim factions of radicals, the radicalized people, will be what they did to the Jews after getting everybody to agree to hate the Jews, and then they get to agree to hate the Arabs, and then they all come together to agree to hate the While Arabs. While the Arabs are saying that they hate the Jews, like basically reinforcing That's their it. message. Yeah, that also, right. So, like I said, this is all being organized and compartmentalized by a Nazi party that was never defeated. That's right, they were never defeated. That was incubated after World War II in the U.S. itself. Right. And who helped that incubation? Who helped bring these plague of demons to Washington, D.C., these Illuminatis? The Vatican. Yeah, and the, the British. Vatican. And the British. Of course. And that's what I was saying earlier, that I think they're just a bunch of freaking blood-drinking freaking Bela Lugosi's. I mean, they're living forever. They're not dying. They're, they're staying here and being totalitarians to the very bitter end. And what are they doing? What are they? Are they grabbing babies and, like, sucking them dry no. like Christopher Reeves? No. I know I've said that before. I'm going to say it again. I mean, what are they doing? This is some type of satanic freaking Baal worship to basically... Uh, feast upon upon children. They disappear children. The the Queen of England has disappeared children. I mean, what was it? Indian children. Kim Jong-un was... Kim Jong-il was drinking the blood of, of uh, Chinese actresses that they he kidnapped. That. I mean, you don't know. Yeah. Uh, and they also said that Lady Gaga was bathing in blood at the Intercontinental Hotel. Well, that I don't believe at hotel. all. That sounds like a publicity stunt or a video shoot. Maybe she was shooting a video. Maybe she was doing a photo shoot. And that was just like part of it. It was a performance piece. I don't believe it. Regardless, the bloodletting of America has begun. I said it earlier. I mean, we were all like cocooned while they have slit our wrists and we're literally bleeding to death. And we're not going to know that the fascism is here until they break your door down and put the boot right in your face. You're not going to know. You're going to say, how did this happen to me? Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I think that America is very big and we're, you are, I don't know. I mean, they're not going to, it's not going to be like martial law. Everybody's afraid of all that stuff. I mean, there is a world outside of people's paranoid delusions you know, there really is. All it takes is the Emergency Health Act, Health Powers Act. All it takes is H.R. 645 to be implemented, any na- natural disaster. They already have surrendered America's sovereignty with uh, drills such as Operation Urban Warrior, where they had 
all sorts of troops, foreign troops, Ukrainian troops training to detain and and contain a civil unrest, a civil un, you know resurrection here, insurrection in in America to, to quell that. And you can see, I mean, Army PSYOPs is working hand in hand with all these other provocateur groups like Black Lives Matter. I mean, Army PSYOPs is training on how to uh, go after black people in urban areas. And they're also, they're also giving the, the rhetoric to these, to these people. They're, they're giving them their playbooks. They're telling them what to say in the media. And George Soros is funding it all. Mm. People like Jay-Z are funding it all. That's what hip-hop is being used for. Yeah, it's now, here's, someone, really here's someone that could enlighten me on this. Hip-hop is being used to popularize Islam, to popularize communism, and to popularize a civil war against uh, other ethnicities. Well, in the, that's... I, th- I don't really agree right now for that. I think that there is no hip-hop, and there's pop music that they're guiding toward that. The real hip-hop is dead. You know, yeah, well, you haven't put damage control out, so yeah, the stat, the status of hip hop is uh, <laughs> comatose until you do something, right? Otherwise, well, just, Eminem is going to keep uh, singing with Drake, right? And um, we just we just released a few singles so far from the album, but there's 22 tracks. Oh, so it's really big. It's already done, but and it's been done. I'm just working on the videos and just organizing stuff, you know? I mean, it's been crazy just moving from from state to state. And then no, but I really think that's what, it, what hip-hop's being used for. It was killed, and then whatever was left of it is being used to promote Islam and communism. Yeah, well, there's no real ra- Arab rap. And an insurrection against the police. So it's basically trying to have black people kill themselves by going up and fighting the police. Yeah, but I don't or, know if that's hip hop or just fucking assholes that are just pushing them. This Beyonce is doing that. She's not in hip hop. So, I mean. Or wasn't Jay Z once considered a yeah, rapper or something not, before he became satanic pop? Yeah, bubblegum music? I don't music? know what he's done lately. I mean, honestly, he's just Picasso, baby. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. So, he's not really considered. And people don't take him serious. Yeah, when is Tupac going to drop an album from freaking Cuba? I mean, <laughs> I mean damn, man. Come on, what are you what are you fucking waiting for? I mean little Wayne's but everybody's like gone. I mean everything's like no, that guy that something. guy's uh having exorcisms right now. That guy is uh, you know, when he's not being kissed on the lips Nicky's. by Birdman like Will Smith, that Fanuke kisses his son on the lips. That's another thing. I, wasn't he a rapper too? The Fresh Prince? Oh the the Fresh Prince likes to get jiggy with his own son. Believe that? The son who wears dresses? The son who they completely turned into like a, a freaking fruitcake. Does he wear nail polish too? Nail polish, flowers on the hair, oh, skirts. I mean, the complete effemination of, of black people. I mean, they're, they're trying to effeminize black men. And Will know. Smith is for taking away your liberties and turning your son freaking uh, strange for a piece of change. That's really creepy. And this awareness of his soul. I mean, now, what happened with, with the old Will, Will Smith that was in uh, Enemy of the State? I mean, that was a, a good movie that exposed the police state. That It, it was like pre-Snowden. Now, he's, I mean, he's, he's part of the state. Always has been. But, but he, he's some type of sick pedophile. I mean... Who kisses their son on the lips like that if they're not like Arabic priests or Catholic priests? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Weirdos. Yeah, I know that something's up with him. And from what I figured out is that Will Smith's part of a, another part of a Prince Mason Paul. Prince Hall. Prince Hall. Prince Hall. Remember yeah. we were watching the Gotham series with his uh, wife, Jada Pinkett? And mm-hmm. she was trying to have, like, some chick mac on her or kiss her. They want to have a lesbian scene. And mm-hmm. yeah, that's how these people roll. Right. Right? They're kissing girls. They're kissing well, guys. They're a bunch rumor. of fruitcakes. Having all these type of masquerade Illuminati parties. That was a rumor that they really did that in life. You know, in real life. There was always that buzz in Hollywood about that. Um, so I don't know whether it's Hollywood that turns them out or they're sort of deviant enough and then Hollywood sort of brings them in. I don't know what's for, what's what, but 
Martin Luther King certainly looks look like um, Will Smith. And if you look up Will Smith and put up Martin Luther King, you're going to see a lot of resemblances. So I think that he could be in the same family. As when did you become the Dallas Gold Girl? Why are you, why are you putting format? up somebody else's name? Okay, because I'm a I'm an artist, you and better, I was robbed. I had a lot of I had all my photographs stolen. Um, my computers somehow they got into my files. Not from my computer, not from my house, but they got in through. Uh, through so Martin wireless. Luther King is related. They got. Theory, you asked me why I know. Martin so Luther much. King is related. Your theory is that he's related to Will Smith. Yeah, but and Kanye West is related to who? Malcolm X. Yeah. Well, they do look alike. A I'll lot. give you that. They look a lot alike. Right. So I mean, it is a, a frightening theory. These uh, these uh, doppelgangers that uh, Jaja comes up with. I mean, that, they they keep me intrigued. I like her Nazi doppelgangers more than anything, folks. I like when she's trying to unravel the genealogies of these right wing Mischlings and what about Lebensborns what about and this, all these uh, Nazi scum. Dan Schneiderman, you know, pedophile. Doesn't he look like Jack Black? Yeah, yeah, the Nickelodeon pedophile. I mean, it, it just it just keeps going and going and going. It reminds me of this article that you shared on Facebook. The twelve year old girl discovers that all but one U.S. president is directly related to each other. Yeah. So all directly related. They're all related to to Brad Pitt. Madonna's related to Lady Gaga and Clinton, and that's why they do all their satanic homages to the Lord of the Rings. Saturn. Hmm. Right? And you saw a car that was very much in line with your Saturnalian dialogue, uh, dialectic. The expose. Yeah. Right. You, it was so weird. Bruce just spots this car. A, a Nissan. black Nissan. It said cube on it. So he's like, or all of a sudden talking Saturn. Look at Saturn worship. And it really was a fucking ugly cube car. And lo and behold, the, the license plate had 666 on yeah, it. Yeah. It looked like the Kaaba. It looked like when they had me do tefillin. Yeah, but the guy driving it looked like Seth Rogen. Like I was vaping. <laughs> yeah. That's all I saw. I saw him vaping. Yeah. But um, but yeah, no, there you have it everywhere, folks. You see the Illuminati symbolism. The the Kaaba is a huge cube. And where am I getting at? Basically, what I've been talking about with uh, people like Jordan Maxwell, how on the planet Saturn, that is what these occultists worship is the the North Pole of Saturn, this uh, basically where if you have in Greek mythology all, all these deities like Death, the Grim Reaper, Kronos, I mean it's proliferated in, in all of the corporate logos and from your Internet Explorer to the old Gateway computers, the Toyota logo. I mean it gets, it gets deep. And I'm working on a, in a presentation on uh, Saturnalian symbolism, an expose. We're going to have that up on Exposed News. Be sure to go and subscribe. But we're, we're winding down to the end of the show. Winding down to the end of the show. Uh, as, uh, any uh, last uh, requests? No, last request is that everybody go check out Jaja on iTunes and get in your mood because I will be releasing more stuff. Promise. That's right. Then you go to your iTunes, check that out, Jaja on iTunes. You got your album, The Attack, on there. And before we go, um, I know people are still checking you out to this day. They got that um, 55-year-old freaking uh, Britney Spears, right? Hmm. Well, yeah, what did they say? She was 34. She's copying your look on your album cover, The Attack, and they had that on MTV Brazil. Yeah, just something told me to go look. I don't know why. Did you see how hypersexualized she was in that video where she's like rubbing up on some like 16 year old kid? You know what I'm saying? I mean, compared to her, right? I mean, <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? The freaking Britney Spears' neck looks freaking disgusting. Oh my God, she looked like uh, a grandmother. I can't believe they said she's 34. Yeah, 34. Oh my God, if. if if that's what 34 is supposed to look like, folks, then, then God help humanity like that meme you had me make. Hmm. And God help humanity because, I mean, she looks god-awful. I don't understand. I it's mean, all that heroin. They're shooting also, themselves but... in the foot. The Jesuits that produced that god-awful freaking song of hers. Oh, and, my and God. Video. She sounded disgusting. Horrible. 
Forget about looking bad. She sounded bad. And you mentioned Dan Schneider. Well, that guy was raping all sorts of freaking kids at Nickelodeon. Probably had something to do with raping her own little sister. Dude, Britney Spears' sister was probably raped by Dan Schneider, who raped all those kids from all that, uh, iCarly, all those freaking shows. On so Nickelodeon. pictures of them together, right? Oh, man, he's hugging how many kids? That Dan Schneiderman that looks like Jack Black? That's a good Nazi freaking doppelganger, Illuminati pedo doppelganger. But with that, folks, we have come to the end of the show. To the very end, exposing scum and the probable cause of Illuminati scum to the very end, your sexy hosts, Bruce Montalvo and Jaja, signing out. Signing out, folks. See you next Friday. Peace. Shabbat shalom.